Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, you're going to have a little piece of me today. When I say praise the Lord, I really want people to actually be excited in the presence. The Bible says, in the presence of the Lord, there is a fullness of joy. So you will be happy today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How many of us are ready to dance? Uh, please, quiet. You can still go back. You are not done yet. Praise the Lord. How many of us are ready to dance? I, I mean, I really mean it. How many of us are really, really ready to dance? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me seize this opportunity to invite to the podium our brother, our own very old brother, brother Gary Davis to uh, David to come and give, all, uh, give us worship and praise, leading us to the presence of the Most High. Hallelujah! Yeah. happy to celebrate with pastor pastor um is anybody like is not happy that's supposed to be here tonight one more time can we shout hallelujah, hallelujah. pastor can you turn back as people that are not shouting hallelujah one more time let's shout hallelujah all right can you touch your neighbor to your right and say how are you doing today can you with a smile on your face say how are you doing how was your service this morning with a smile so you probably not smiling this morning I mean, this afternoon, can you put a smile on your face and say, you are welcome. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we lift our hands to heaven tonight? I mean, this afternoon, and just worship Jesus. Oh, yeah, we already say night, but we're in the afternoon today. Can you lift your hands and just magnify Jesus this afternoon? Say, Father, I magnify you. We give you all the glory. On behalf of the house of God, God has been good for three years. For this church can we just celebrate what god has done for three years come on everybody let's open our mouth let's open our mouth and just give god the praise today come on let's just magnify him for what he has done give him all the worship on behalf of this church to live the church of god house of god on behalf of the pastor on behalf of everyone that god is using in this place come on open your mouth and just celebrate jesus for three years of faithfulness of god for three years of the magnificent power of jehovah Come on, somebody open your mouth and exalt Jesus. We give you the glory, Lord. Oh, great is your faithfulness. Oh, Lord, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Come on, somebody say, Thou change it. Thy compassion there. I want to hear you sing it. Everybody say, Great is thy faith. Come on, if you have been faithful to you, come on, sing that.
grateful this afternoon. Can you lift us as I say, my God is good? Oh, I can hear you say, my God is faithful. In the next few minutes, I want us to celebrate God with a dance. Is that okay, everybody? Yes. Is that okay to God to go to God with a dance this afternoon? Yes. No, I can't really hear people that are really happy on behalf of this church. One more time, can you shout, yeah! yeah. I want to celebrate all the pastors today, also especially I want to celebrate my pastor, Pastor Femi Taiwo. Can you please put your hands together and celebrate Pastor everybody? Come on. And then I will celebrate the pastor of the house, Pastor Musa. Can we please celebrate Pastor Musa and his wonderful wife? Come on, everyone. Hallelujah. All right, we're going to be singing There's No God Like Jehovah. These are the days of the light. Come on. All right. I want to get more. Come on. All right, we can put ourselves together. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. These are the days of Elijah. Come on, declare in the word of the Lord. Come on, everybody say, These are the days of your Sabbath. Moses, righteousness be restored. Say, These are the days, these are the days of grace, Christ. Oh, a family in darkness and so We are the voice, we are the voice in the desert.
May God bless all of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming here today. I believe there is no one present here that is still doubting the power of God. Because left to me alone, I don't know how we scale first year. I don't know how we scale second year. I don't know how the third year came and gone. It is only, only through the faithfulness of God. Hallelujah. Because oftentimes when I see our numbers and when I see everything, it can only be due to God that we are here. Yeah. So God is so good. Hallelujah. May God bless all of you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. On behalf of my wife, my entire family, and the entire family of us of God, we say thank you for coming. May God bless you. Amen. The Lord, we Beat you at the point of your need in Jesus' name. Amen. Do anyone take a look at our team? Jesus Christ, our healer. Amen. I want somebody to just take the word our from there and put mine so that you personalize it to yourself. Amen. Jesus will meet you today in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank our beloved pastor, Pastor Femi, is a very senior pastor. Uh, in the Redeemed Christian Church of God and in Texas Zone 10, the Assistant Zona Coordinator, soon to be Assistant Provision Pastor. We God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you for coming. I, I have another of our senior pastor here, Pastor Lyle Ironish, uh, soon to be pastor of the parish. I believe we are planning one in Dente very soon. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, someone very dear to me, Evangelist Morris, uh, every time when we call upon him, he answers. He never fails. He's predictable. Amen. Thank you. May God bless you. Thank you for coming in Jesus' name. Uh, our dad and mom just walk in. Uh, Elder Doggett, Elder Doggett, Reverend Doggett, and uh, our beloved mama, Mama Doggett. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you for coming. 
if you can tear me open, every one of you, you will see joy full in my heart. Uh, Pastor Gary and his wife, we appreciate you so much. May the Lord bless you. How many of you know that every time we have a gathering here like this, Pastor Gary is here. He was here from the beginning, and he will continue to be here. May God bless you in Jesus' name. The Lord will sustain you with good health. The joy of the Lord will be your portion, and you will enjoy the works of the ministry. The Lord will prosper you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. And to every one of us that have come to celebrate with us, I want to appeal to every one of you. I've been to a program. Before the program ends, you couldn't count five people remaining. You came here today for us. Please and please do not go home until we shout the last amen. This is a special appeal. Uh, as a matter of fact, we put a notice on that door. Don't go out through there. If you have to go, pass through here so that I can see you. <laughs> amen? Please, nobody leave. You have dedicated today for us. Stay here till we shout the last amen. amen. More importantly, the book of John 1.1 1, 1 says, it said, the word of God is God. If you miss the word that God has prepared our beloved father, Pastor Gary, to preach today, then I don't know why you came here. You should have just stayed in your house. <laughs> So please do not miss every bit of it. Stay here till the end of the program. And to all our guest pastors, uh, everyone that has one thing to do, one or two things to do today, uh, I wanted to please appeal to you, keep to the time. I was in Pastor Femi's Towers Church in the last program, and the regional pastors, assistant regional pastor said, the blessed are those when they are invited, they keep to time. For they shall be appreciated and be invited back. <laughs> so, <laughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's keep to time. I announced it here yesterday that so many of you will sing. If you are supposed to sing, sing. If you are supposed to pray, pray. We gave the program to everyone. You can see me walking just now when the time of Barry David was almost out. So every one of us, if your time is there, just walk in so that the other person will know that uh, my time is out. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You have my permission to do so. We are in a time contract today. If you are a student of the Bible, long after our Lord Jesus Christ came, Isaiah 35 verses 4 and 5 said, he says, say to them that are of fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. The ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Many, many years after that, in the book of Luke chapter 7, verse 22, when John the Baptist came, he was clearing the way for our Lord Jesus Christ. And our Lord Jesus Christ came into the scene. John sent his disciples, he said, go ask Jesus whether he's the one that we are waiting for or there is another person to come. Jesus sent back the disciples of John. He said, go tell John what you have seen, what you have heard, how the blind see, how the lame walk, how the lepers are cleansed, the deaf, the dead are raised. To those who are poor, the gospel is preached unto them. This is prophecy fulfilled. Acts chapter 10 verse 38, it said, how the Lord, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all, I want you to underline all, that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Pastor Gary is a man packed with the power of God. When he's ministering today, 
He's not just only going to minister in word. He's going to minister in the power of God. To every one of you that has come here today, and there is one or two things that you are trusting the Lord for, this time around, I want you to, your faith to be a little bit risen. Because God is with us. As a God is with us. Amen. Once upon a time, the Bible made it understand that multitude gathered, as we are gathered here like this. And they brought people with diverse sickness, diverse diseases, different of different kind. The one that has name, the one that has no name. And the Bible reckoned it in the book of Luke chapter 6, 19, and in the book of Matthew chapter 12, verse 15, he says, he healed them all. Jesus Christ, our healer. I do not have power on my own. Pastor Gary do not have power on his own. But the power of the Lord that worked in him, the power of the Lord that is working in the house of God, will be available to you today in Jesus' name. Amen. I prophesy to someone here today, the Lord God Almighty will heal you in Jesus' name. Amen. I say, Jesus will touch you. Amen. Oh my God, you guys are too cool. I say, Jesus will heal, will heal you. Amen. I say, Jesus will heal you. Amen. Amen. Let me announce to someone that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And that is why this church is set. He has anointed me as a son to preach the gospel. Bring some good news to some people. By the grace of God, a lot of healings have taken place here in this church because God is here. And the Lord will touch you today in Jesus' name. Amen. To those of you who are coming for the very first time, every Sunday we gather at 10 o'clock for Bible study. 11 o'clock for the main worship service. By the grace of God, by 12.30 we are done. Our Bible study is for 45 minutes. The main worship service is 1 hour 30 minutes. When you come here, our times are predictable. We don't keep you. I want to ask each and every one of you that are visiting here and you are not in Pastor Gary's church, by next Sunday, please be gathered here. Amen. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Tawi is allowed to go to his church, but every other person <laughs> gather here. Amen. Praise the Lord. On Wednesday, we gather every 7 o'clock, uh, 7 p.m. for Bible study. It is when we study the Bible uh, in depth. As you join us in all of these services, the Lord will minister to you in Jesus' name. Amen. At this time, let me yield the, the podium. Uh, we need to do some prayers. We have three pastors to pray. Uh, Pastor Christopher Adetoro, Pastor Adebumi Ezekiel, and Pastor Gary Taylor uh, to pray for us. And uh, I believe Pastor Gary is here. Papa, Papa Doggett, will you please pray for us? And Pastor Femi Taiwo will deputize for the provincial pastor. Uh, if we will start from Pastor Femi Taiwo, please. Thank you. If, if you want to clap, clap. Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to congratulate the house of God for this uh, special occasion. To be three years old is not a joke. Pastor Musa, I appreciate you. Thank you. I'll be going back to my church. <laughs> and I'm not going to leave my daughter here. <laughs> so we are going back together. I know my assistant is not going to stay here, Amen. but if you want to stay with you, Amen. you can keep. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. We want to pray some prayers. Oh, I can see some of my members here. They are not going to stay alone. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. We want to pray some uh, prayers. We want to pray some prayers. But before we do that, I just want to share some things with us. The theme of this uh, our program is God, our healer. God, my healer. You see, in the book of Genesis chapter 1, book of Genesis chapter 1, in verse 2, God described, there's a description of how the heaven and the earth were created. 
in verse 1, he told us, he said that, uh, that God wants to, he said he created heavens and the earth. Then in verse 2, he told us what happened during that creation. He says, and the earth was the earth was without form. And the earth was void. The life of some people are void. And the life of some people are without form. But before God steps into the situation, there is always a preceding thing that God always do when you look through the scripture is the Holy Spirit. Whenever you want to see the move of God, before He heals, before He does anything, there has to be the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, and the Spirit of the Lord over around, He over over the earth. Then God spoke. Before we speak this evening, I want you to rise on your feet. I want you to just rise on your feet. Let's just invite the Holy Spirit into our midst. I want uh, the instrumentalist, I want us to take this song just for a few minutes. It's a very simple song. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, 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 Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Yes, we need you. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Yeah, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, one more time, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. of the Holy Spirit blow in this place. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit let it blow in this place. The wind of the Holy Spirit, let it blow in this place. Oh, let the wind of the Holy Spirit blow in this place. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit blow in this place. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit blow in this place. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit blow in this place. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit blow in this place. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit blow in this place. Holy Spirit, move like you never moved before. Even in this program, move in the name of Jesus. The wind of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we invite you in this place. Move like you never did before. Even in the name of Jesus. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit move in this place. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, God appeared to prophet Ezekiel and he was about to do something in a place that uh, it was dry. The Bible says he took the man of God into the dry place, into a valley. And it was a dry place. I don't know what is dry in your life. I don't know what is dry in your situation. As a matter of fact, I don't know what is dead in your destiny. I don't know what you have been trying to achieve that all you cannot achieve. 
The Bible says that the poor not only are they dead, they are dry and they are scattered all over the place. The life of some people are scattered all over the place. But the Bible says that the hands of God was upon the man of God. He said, and the hands of the Lord came upon me in the spirit of the Lord. And he took me down to around the bone and he said, can this bone live? And he asked the man of God to prophesy. You are going to prophesy upon your life. The, the, life and death is in your tongue. The Holy Spirit is upon you because you have the Spirit of God inside of you if you are born again. Yeah. Are you with me, somebody? So you are going to declare this afternoon. Say, Father. Father. Say, Father. Father. Say, Father. Father. I can hear you. Say, Father. Father. Everything that is dead in my life. Come alive. Come alive. Come alive. Now. I command you to come alive. Everything that is dead in my life. Let it come alive in the name of Jesus. I command you to come alive in the name of Jesus. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So by the world that is inside of me, I command every dead bone, every dead situation, every dead life, every dead destiny, come alive in the name of Jesus. Everywhere that I've been sick, come alive. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. The Bible tells us in that book of Genesis that when God created something, He looked back at what He has created and He said, It is good. I am very sure that in creation, when God created Adam and Eve, they are good. As a matter of fact, when he created Adam, he said, it's very good. Are you with me? There is no doubt in my heart that everything that concerns you is good. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, they are good. But eventually, there is something that is wrong with any part of your body. God can make it good. Are you with me, somebody? Are you with me, somebody? You are going to decree this. Say, Father. Father. Say, Father. Say, Father. From the crown of my head to the sole of my face, everyone that is not functioning, ah, according to the way it was originally created, I declare we become good in the name of Jesus. Sir. Begin to decree. Begin to declare. In the name of Jesus, sir. everything that God created, they are good. Ah. My heart, you are good. My soul, you are good. My body, you are good. My organs, you are good. My eyesight, you are good. Every part of my body, you are good. I declare you good in the name of Jesus. I speak at those things that are not as though they were. So, therefore, I decree by the auction of the Almighty God that you are good. Become good right now in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 17, it says, But I will restore you to health. I will restore you to health. I thought somebody is going to get that. God said, I will restore you to health and heal your wounds. Declare the Almighty God. Say, Father, Father. say, Father. Father, say, Father, I stand upon your wall that say, I will restore you to hell. So, therefore, today I am restored to health. I am restored to health. My soul is restored to health. My body is restored to health. Every part of my body is restored to health. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Father, I decree and I declare upon your church, upon your people, the people that are called by your name, Father, I commit them unto you. You are the great healer. Father, heal them. Heal each and every one of us. Where we are being wounded, Father, heal us. Where we are sick, Father, heal us. In the name of Jesus. I stand by the anointing of the Almighty God upon this altar. 
Because the Bible tells me that I shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Father, your children that have come here to celebrate with your son and his wife that they are celebrating their third anniversary. Father, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, make it three. I command everything that is not of you in the life of everyone to punish right now in the name of Jesus. Mandrebo Sika Teribaya, John and Peter, they were passing through the gate beautiful. I know this place is beautiful. I know this place is beautiful. I know this place is beautiful. But there was a man that his life was ugly. In the front of Gate Beautiful. What an irony. I don't know how many are here today that they are saying, I wish my life can be beautiful. But when they encounter the Almighty God through John and Peter, he says, Silver and gold we have not, but what I have give I thee today. In the name of Jesus, as many that their life is not beautiful, I decree beauty into it in the name of Jesus. Receive beautiful arches in the name of Jesus. And the name of the Lord is glorified. So shall it be. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, I decree. Shout a better hallelujah. Request that you stand up for this. <laughs> 